Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Joe Fiducia back with some additional information here in Microsoft Word 2010. Today we're going to continue our discussion in building blocks. And if you recall, from our last tutorial, we talked about cover pages, which were here on the left-hand side of the Insert tab. Excellent way of inserting cover pages, front pages, into a document. Now if we look a little further to the right, you'll see something called headers and footers. And these are another set of building blocks that we could use in Word to save time inserting them and creating them. So let's go ahead and take a look at how these work and what we can do to create our own. Now in front of us we have the same Word document we've been using in previous tutorials and what I'd like to do is insert a header up there along the top of every page. Many of us know how to do that manually but here's a way we can save time. We can use the building blocks that are already available to us. To find them again, you'll go to the Insert tab up there in the ribbon, and if you look towards the right, there's that Header and Footer menu again. We're going to start with Header. When we open it up, you'll see there's a nice long list of default headers we can pick from. These are all headers developed by Microsoft. If you have a standard Word installation on your computer, you'll be able to select any one of these same things. I, for example, like this particular style with the little blue bubble on the left-hand side, so I'm going to go ahead and pick that particular header. And without having to do anything else, notice I now have a header up there along the top with that title taken from the properties of the file. If we scroll down, we'll notice that the header is automatically on every single page in our file, saving us a lot of labor building one from scratch. One of the nice things about this feature is the ability to match your headers and footers very easily with, again, the default building blocks. I would like, for instance, to insert a footer now, and I'd like that footer to have the same bubble style and the same font and the same format as our header. So what I'm going to do is scroll down and just take a look to make sure there are currently no footers. Then go to the Insert tab up there at the top. Towards the right-hand side, click that Footer menu. And notice what's in here. If you look closely, these things will very closely mirror the same style and themes that we saw in the header menu. So if I scroll down just a little bit, I will see a very similar effect to what I inserted in the header, the same mod style. And I can pick either one of those, whichever style I'm looking for. If I like this one, I can go ahead and select that one, same bubble effect, same line. And now I have the footer down here at the bottom of every page. The footer nicely matches the header, even though it's a slightly different look and appearance, it still has that same theme to it. And that's my goal saving a little bit of time while maintaining consistency and a theme. One of the great things about these as well is the ability to create our own custom options. For example, a lot of us might look at these headers and say, these are great, exactly what I need. Others might look at it and say, well, you know, I have my own custom headers and I really can't use the Microsoft ones, but I would like to create my own custom options. And is that something we can do? The answer is, of course, yes. You'll see up here at the top, I've created a very crude example, but an example nonetheless of a custom header. It has our logo here on the left and a tagline here on the right. Maybe that's something that I personally would like to insert at the top of all of my Word documents. So what I can do is I can take that header and add it to the gallery of header options. The way this works, you can highlight or select anything that you'd like in the header area. Go to the header gallery and look at the bottom. You'll see an option that says Save Selection to Header Gallery. And that's what I'd like to do. I'd like to take what I've highlighted and place it into this list of options. So I select the option to save, give this thing a name, I'll call it AF Header, and click OK. And now what I've done for myself is any time I'd like to insert that same header at the top of any document, I can now go to the Header Gallery, scroll down to the very bottom, and I will see my custom header ready and waiting. So now anytime I build something new or open another file, I'll have the ability of inserting this header very quickly, thus saving time and, again, keeping consistency. The same exact steps would apply if we had a footer we wanted to add to the gallery of options. You'll see down here at the bottom of our document we have a basic footer, and this is a very crude example. It doesn't have to be this simple, or it doesn't have to be complicated either. Anything you want to add and save for future use, we simply highlight down there in the footer area. Then we go up to that Insert tab in the ribbon. We go towards the right and open the footer gallery, and you'll see the same option at the bottom of that gallery called Save Selection to Footer Gallery. So I'm going to take what I've highlighted, 
choose this option to save it, and I'll call this one AF Footer. Clicking OK, I now have a custom footer added to my building block gallery. So anytime I would like to use that same exact footer again, I can scroll down to the bottom of this footer gallery and I'll see my footer ready and waiting. This is a permanent change in Word. What we've done here will now be available to any document we open, both today and any time in the future. One of the questions you might have is how can we update and manage these building blocks if we no longer want some of the ones we created or if we would like to delete some of the building blocks from Microsoft. How do we go about doing all of that? We did talk about this in a previous tutorial, number 14 actually, where we talked about cover pages. And as part of that tutorial, we talked about the building blocks organizer. So I highly encourage you to go ahead and check that out and learn how to manage these in the organizer. Today, just to get you started, if there is anything in the gallery that you would no longer like or that you'd like to change the properties for, find the building block you'd like to work on and right click on it. Every time you right click on a building block, either in the header gallery or the footer gallery, you'll see an option called Organize and Delete. This will open up the Building Blocks Organizer, which allows you to manage any building blocks that are there in addition to the ones you already created. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, two more tools in Microsoft Word 2010. These header and footer building blocks are like mini templates. They not only save us time, but they also help us keep consistency across the board. We hope you find great value to them, and we do hope to see you again in our next tutorial. Thanks for watching.